made a huge mistake. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to our River Run map build for 2024 City Skylines St. Louis based on the topographical map of St. Louis. So let's address what we did in the last episode. In the last episode we added quite a few things. We added some commercial buildings, we moved our elementary school, we added our medical clinic, uh, we, we are starting to grow our area and we reached a milestone of 900. Uh, we added this little residential block over here and as you can see we need to address some water. So let's go ahead and hit play. You can see the calendar is now moving and we've got some water problems. So if we go to our info views you can see we have plenty of sewage treatment down here at our sewage pump, but we don't have enough water coming in because we only have a water tower installed. So we're going to add a water pump by going to our utilities and going over to our water and sewage. And this is a water pumping station and we can add this down here. However, you want to keep this, you can see the red ring around there for new noise pollution. You want to keep this away from your residence as much as possible and you also want to keep it away from your sewage your sewage anything down water of your sewage pipe will make your citizens sick so we want to keep it up here on the north shore uh, but we're going to go ahead and put it on the opposite side so that it is a little less obtrusive and uh, obnoxious for noise pollution and visual pollution as well so let's connect this up to our current system and we need to get some power over there to it so we can go to our electric lines and run a line across the river here to connect this up and there we are. So that should get going. That should take care of all of that problem that we have with water currently. Let's go to our info views and as you can see now we are pumping and are and disposing the same amount. So now we can go to our economy and bump the budget for our water all the way down to 50 again. Uh, don't need to be spending the extra money on water. You can see this will drop now once we bump this up to three times speed. Uh, that will drop down to a appropriate level. Everyone's fine. Everyone's happy. We have a little bit of an electric problem over here. Is this... Uh, yeah, we could bump up the production a little bit. We do have a coal burning power plant. Uh, we could either bump up their production or we could add maybe a wind turbine. The wind turbine has a maximum of 8 wattage, so we have plenty of area where a wind turbine would be good to put down in our city, but we will just bump up the budget for now. And you can see it's already gone away a little bit, so we'll bump that up to 85, that's fine. Uh, the next thing that we need to address is district specializations. Things that we unlocked in the last milestone. So we unlocked district specializations. We also unlocked a second loan, but we don't need that currently. We might very quickly once we specialize our districts. Also, we unlocked emergency services, forestry and agricultural, self-sufficient buildings, organic and lo local produce, and new policies regarding power usage, water usage, usage, and smoke detector distribution. So, if we come back to our map, bump this back down to one time speed, go over here, and we can zone off a little area. And this area over here that we are going to zone off will be our first little township area, and this will be our old neighborhood, if you will. However, we are going to actually name this off of the topographical map. So we are going to name this area what it actually is called in St. Louis. And this area is a little bitty uninhabited area called Gabbert Island. I believe it is pronounced Gabbert, maybe Gabber, Gabbe. Uh, not positive, not from the area. Let me know in the comments below if you do know. And that might actually be Gabaret or Gabaret. Not positive, leave me a comment below. However, according to Wikipedia, this area, this little island, uh, Lewis and Clark camped on this island on December 11th, 1803, prior to establishing Camp Dubois near Wood River, Illinois. So they camped on this little spot. Now this area, if you go out to our large screen here, uh, this is the Missouri River here, and this is the Mississippi coming from the north to south, and this is where they converge. Uh, this would be cut off, actually, in real life, with a kind of like right here. This would be a little bit of an island, hence the name. Uh, but nonetheless, we're going to name this area appropriately according to the tropical map. 
And there we are. You uh, come for the entertainment, you stay for the information. So, obviously this isn't an island, but I think it was called Something Hills before we renamed it, so it's just as inappropriate. Nonetheless, we're going to keep it close as, as we can to the areas in the topographical map. The streets aren't going to be the same, the layout's not going to be the same, we're not even trying for that. But we're going to keep the districts and areas named. Now, speaking of districts and areas, whenever we go back to our specialization tool here, we can, as discussed, we have unlocked specializations for districts. So this entire district here, our old neighborhood, which encompasses everything at this current moment, can be specialized by clicking on and specializing your area. Oh, here we go. Uh, these are the policies, services, taxation, city planning, and events. Uh, the things that we have unlocked so far as discussed, power usage, water usage, and smoke detector distribution. Smoke detector distribution, as you can see, significantly reduces risk of fire. However, it is a $5 upkeep per building. It is a very expensive plan, but you are giving all of your citizens smoke detectors, which reduces dramatically how many fires you have. It is an astonishing amount of fires that they have in this game. If this is simulation, there's a lot of fires happening in the world that I don't know about. But we're going to go ahead and click that. Uh, water usage. Now, this, again, moderately reduces water consumption and upkeep of $5 per building. Now, the reason that we just circled off that little bit of zone is we don't want these things to, to account for other areas in the city. We only want them to affect for our little bitty district as of now. I don't think we need to use the water specialization. Power, power, power usage services specialization is the same thing. Moderately reduces electrical consumption. Upkeep, $5 per building. So we clicked one of these out of three. Now, we are making $1,700 currently. And if we bump this up to three times speed, that will adjust very quickly to reflect the cost of $5 per building. You can see we're already down to 15, 14, 89. This will affect it very quickly and you will see how much you can lose if you click all three of those. Um, the specialization for fire is pretty important. Water usage, electric usage, that's not so important right now. That's something that you need to focus on a little bit later in the game. You can see our profit now is down to $1,947. $940, that is a very expensive thing. So if we would have clicked all three of those, we would already be in the red. So next, while we have a little bit of money at $44,000, we're going to add our police station. And I believe we're just going to put this on the corner down here. And I think we're going to face this street here so they have easy access all around the town. And as you can see, all the citizens very happy with a police station. Now we need fire. And your fire station is kind of important to keep near your industrial area. They need quick access to the industrial area. That way they can get over there because that is the most likely area to have a fire. So we're going to add this to the same street just like that. And that will be right next to our medical clinic. Uh, I don't believe we're going to upgrade this road here, but we are going to quickly upgrade this road before it gets out of hand. And this will cut off, yep, it'll cut off that building, it'll cut off these houses. I want to pause the game because I want to remove this specialization now. Just like that. Uh, we can go ahead and hit play, go back to our roads, and upgrade this the rest of the way. And then these houses will move back down here. But my plan is to have that be kind of a main artery street on the end uh, whenever we move the highway ramp in a future episode. And as you can see, we have a little bit of electric problem. And that is because that road upgrade disconnected it for that power line there. And where can we put this that will connect to now? Let's see if this will connect... I know technically it shouldn't, but we will see if it will. Hopefully it does. Uh, but the power problem, we go to our info views, is a usage problem. So we can, we could implement, we're down to, see, we're already down to negative $100 per turn. So we can't implement any more policies like the power usage policy. Uh, but we can adjust our economy over here. Turn the electric up to 95. That should probably answer that demand. We can bump it up to, oh, we're already at three times speed. That should answer that demand relatively quick. Now we are producing 36 megawatts and only consuming 33. 
And that did in fact connect the power over here to the water pump station. So everyone is happy. We have water, we have electric, we are doing fantastic. The other two things that we unlocked during our worthy village milestone are forestry specialization and agricultural specialization. Both of these are industry specializations and we will get to that in the next episode. We also, to our next milestone, have 1400 population. So we have 400 population to grow in our next episode. We will cover industry and forestry specialization. We won't be adding both, but we will cover them at least. And we need to go over here to our economy and bump up this water just a little bit. I think actually 55 ought to work. Where is this at? Oh, our sewage treatment. Something is happening. Why is our sewage treatment not pumping? Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. Nonetheless, let's talk about it in the next episode. Thank you very much for joining the channel. Thank you for joining us here at Huge Mistake Gaming. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you next time.